Hey everybody, Bob Trossett alongside head coach of the Swarthmore Garnet, Todd Ankitis. Coach, congratulations on becoming the 2018 Centennial Conference champions. Thank you. Thank you very much. Absolutely. You guys obviously coming off that reigning championship, you decided to come in and win it again. <laughs> how, how'd it feel? It felt great. It felt great. I mean, these girls worked really hard from the beginning of the season on. They had goals uh, and they've achieved so far. We've got some more that we're hoping to, to continue with in the next couple of weeks. But, uh, but yeah, this Hopkins, all credit to them. They're a tough opponent. I just said to Leo after the game, like, it's great to have our conference because we really push each other. We test each other day in, day out. There's no easy games. And, and that's why you get, you know, a, a championship weekend like this uh, in our conference. You know, Coach, yesterday in that semifinal game against McDaniel, it wasn't easy. No. And, and there were certainly times in that game where you guys had to play from behind. What did that do for you today, you think? You know, we talked about maintaining our composure this weekend because, uh, you know, it's an emotional game. And uh, they really got put to the test yesterday, McDaniel. Yeah, fabulous program, fabulous coach. And um, uh, and our girls responded to the being down. And, and so that's what we just talked about, maintaining our composure, staying staying in the game and uh, it's, a, it's an easy thing to say it's a harder thing to do and all you have to do is watch you know the pros uh, they have their own challenges with it so I think my team did a great job this weekend. We seem to say it every year it's very difficult to beat a team in conference twice in one season yeah. and they had your number just a few weeks ago up yeah. at your place what did you have to make an adjustment to today to put up a five spot on the top seed of Blue Jays? <laughs> well, we've, our, we've got a lot of great attackers on our team, and they just started to, and we're just starting to get hot at the right moment. Uh, the potential's always been there this season, uh, and we've gotten in and out of games with different players scoring goals. Uh, we obviously have Marin, and she's done a fantastic job. She's been sort of that steady force, but we've got a lot of players that can, can score, and this weekend especially, we had players that just stepped up, were hungry, and took their opportunities, and, and just started hitting at the right time. So. We're going to speak to your two-time All-American. You just mentioned her in a few minutes here, Marin McCoy. What has she meant over those four years? Oh, man. You know, she's one of those players that, first of all, when you watch her on the field, you know, um, you know she's special. Right, just watching her play. Uh, but having the opportunity to coach someone like that, uh, she's such a student of the game. Almost, She almost thinks too much sometimes. Uh, but she's always got some some plan, some thought about what's going on in the game. And, uh, and it's, it's uh, you know, you hope to have one or two of those players in your career as a coach. And I've been fortunate to have her uh, for the last four years. Well, it seems like uh, you guys will go as far as she goes in, yeah. in, that, in that tournament. We wish you the best of luck in the 2018 NCAA tournament. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thanks. I'm Bob Trossett and uh, Coach Todd Ankitis signing off here from Homewood. The 2018 regular season champions now in the Centennial Conference, the Swarthmore Garnet. Go Garnet. Hey, everybody. Bob Trossett alongside the MVP of the 2018 Centennial Conference championship team, Swarthmore Garnet, Marin McCoy. Thanks for being with me. How does it feel to defend that 2018, that 2017 title, I should say, and now get another one? It feels amazing. Um, I think less the title, but more the fact that this team has come together in the way that we have been trying all season. Um, we're just so strong, and it's nice to actually have the the title to back it up. But I think more, I'm more impressed with how we played. All five of our goals were scored by different people. Um, it started with our backs, uh, our goalies, our defenders, through the midfield. We were just solid all the way up, and then we were able to finish. But ultimately, it was it just feels good to like have this win in our conf for our confidence and to show how good of a team we are um, moving into the postseason. This Centennial Conference beats you guys up all year long. It's so competitive. It's, it's just very strong-willed. Talk about the the toughness and the competition that you guys have to go through all fall long that helps you in a day like today on, in November. I wouldn't want it any other way. I love the competition. Um, every time we play, we are challenged. We had Dickinson early on. Haverford gave us a run for our money. Um, it makes us a stronger team, and we make each other stronger. So I wouldn't want it any other way. I love the competition. And then when we can get those goals and put it together like today, it's the best feeling. We're in your two-time All-American. I would probably be confident in saying it. it'll probably be a three-time once you hang up the sheets here in the next couple weeks. What would it mean to make a deep run in the NCAA tournament in your senior year? Um, I think it would, I mean, leaving soccer and having a deep run would be an amazing way to go out. Um, but more, 
being with this team and how much this team has gone through to get to where we are. The, my other seniors um, who are all just so grateful for these opportunities and I would love to go as far as we can because we have nothing to lose. It's my last time. That's it. It's your final swan song. We wish you the best. Congratulations on being the 2018 champions in the Centennial Conference. Thank you so much. She's Marin McCoy, the MVP of the tournament. I'm Bob Trossett signing off here from Homewood. We'll see you at the NCAA tournament.